Hello and welcome to this video review of Mario Strikers Battle League Football for Nintendo Switch. I bought this a few days ago with my own money and I must say I've been pleasantly surprised. It's an arcade style football game, well that's soccer if you're American, with 10 familiar Nintendo characters available to pick for your team of 5 players, although one of them is the goalkeeper which you can't control. What immediately stands out is the vintage feel of the game design. This could have been made by 90s Sega, and I say that because, like that company's greatest arcade hits, this is simple enough for anyone to enjoy, and yet reveals deep, nuanced controls when you get better at it. For starters, you can pass the ball low or high, or shoot. Tap the button before it reaches your player, and you can perform a first-time pass or shot, which is cool. Ah, but hold the button down before it reaches you, and let go when it does, and you get a supercharged pass or shot with a far greater chance of being successful. It works really well. However, it is slightly undermined by the size of the pitch. Compared to the previous games in the series, this pitch looks and feels very cramped, which means there isn't much room to pass the ball around, especially on the higher galactic difficulty level when the computer will tackle you before you've even received the ball. It's very, very hard to find enough space to pass and shoot, and especially to trigger the hyper shot, which is worth two goals once you've picked up the glowing orb and charged it up, performing a quick little QTE challenge in the hopes of unleashing an unstoppable, perfect hyper strike. The animations for all of these hyper strikes are really good fun. I particularly like Princess Peach's because the opposing goalie is so charmed by her royal wiles that he literally rolls the ball into his own goal and waves at it happily with hearts in his eyes. It's so daft. The graphics are gorgeously detailed, though there is occasional stuttering online, and the cutscene animations only appear to run at 30 frames per second instead of 60 frames like the gameplay, which is a bit disappointing when you're used to the likes of PS5's 4K60, but it is understandable given the density of the detail and the comparatively high resolution that this Switch title is running at. It's not noticeably shimmery on a 4K TV, suggesting it's at least targeting 1080p while docked. I would say, however, that the game needs at least three times as many of these cutaway animations. Each character has an entrance animation, one for scoring, winning, losing, and hyper-striking, of course, as well as a scene for disappointment. But with only ten characters, it all starts to repeat extremely quickly. Within an hour of playing, I was feeling like it was repeating itself a lot. The gameplay, however, continues to evolve, especially as you start to get your head around the Mario Kart-style weapon system. Green and red shells are present, as well as a rare but deadly invincibility star. You can only hold two weapons at a time, and you need to keep using them or you can't pick up any more. The game gives you more items when you concede and go behind, though it never feels like the action itself is scripted despite these catch-ups. You'll notice at the end of the match, it would make a lot of sense for the final shot to go screaming into the top corner, but it doesn't. The difficulty is pretty well balanced, starting off easily for children and newcomers, before ramping up considerably for the last cup of the main mode before you unlock galactic difficulty, which is really, really hard. I say that having not lost a single game in all the normal cup matches, and yet now I'm really struggling to win on these galactic cup tiers. But that's a good thing, I like the challenge, and while it's perhaps too frantic and based on tackling compared to skillful ball control at this level, it definitely trains you up well for taking it online. You can make your own club and join community events, or just play a quick match. It runs smoothly apart from those couple of instances where I think it's lagging a bit which is reducing the frame rate, uh, but I haven't seen anyone rage quit yet which is a good thing, though of course the temptation is great when you're 6-0 down. Aside from the tutorial mode that does a really good job of explaining how the game works, and that quick play mode that you'll find the online quick match in, there isn't actually much else to do, except spend your winnings on new gear for your team to wear. The gear changes your character's stats, and since the order you pick your team determines their placement on the field, you can have one or two characters suited to being strikers, with someone like Donkey Kong left in defence to smash the opposition strikers before they can take a shot. You'll soon find a team you like, but again you're limiting yourself to seeing the same few cutscenes play over and over if you pick the same team all the time, which is a shame. 
And I think that's my main criticism of the game. It just needs more of everything that it does. More characters, more modes, more stadia, and more space on the field. Indeed, it seems that the only real longevity here, apart from online mode, will come from unlocking the stadium customization options for your online club, as everything in this shop section costs a lot of coins. You only get 1,000 coins for winning a cup on Galactic, and replaying won't win you as many as that, so it's going to take absolutely ages to unlock everything here. As such, maybe there are hidden characters yet, though if there are, they aren't part of normal progression. I've been playing for a few days now, and it's pretty much been the same experience all the time. But what's here is really well made and balanced. The level of detail in everything from the animations to the shot physics and camera placement is really good, and I'm finding it very, very addictive. And I'm sure that as a local multiplayer game, it's going to get a lot of play in some households. Sadly not in mine, I think it's just too chaotic and complex for it to be a fair fight with my family because I can see what's going on and they can't. They're fine with the likes of Mario Kart, but charging tackles, picking up and firing weapons, as well as playing L-modified through balls, charging super shots and hyper shots, is just not going to work for some people. Just like FIFA, admittedly. Though, like FIFA, this can essentially be played with just two buttons and the left stick. So children will have a good time, especially on the lower difficulties. It's just quite a lot to deal with when someone's really good at it. I will say though that the game definitely requires a lot of thumb dexterity and acute awareness of several different things at once, like the location of the hyper orb, the current weapon set, nearest character that could tackle you, and where your teammates are. One final mention has to go to the music. Full of rock guitars, it sounds really cool and is definitely evocative of that golden age of arcade gaming. It's been making me whistle the music from Sega International Victory Goal because it's actually reminiscent of that, and that's awesome. Mario Strikers Battle League Football is fast, fun, and very addictive. I'm having a really good time with it, so even though it's comparatively small for a full price game, I still give it a very respectable 4 out of 5. It's actually one of the most enjoyable sports games I've played in a long time, and while it may well join the likes of Pokemon Snap as the game that I'll occasionally play and fondly think of rather than constantly have ready to rock like Mario Kart or Sega Ages Outrun, I do think I'll come back to it every now and then because it's classic video game fun and there aren't enough games like that. Well, that's all for this video. Please do hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it, and please do take a look around my channel as I have lots of other gaming videos, tech reviews, music, and more. I'll have more reviews going up over the next few weeks, so do check back soon, and take care until then. I'll see you soon. Cheers.